am I ready for the finale episode after five years? Hell yeah, I am. Deadpool is in the final round. Is it me or does Verbal Ace's voice acting sound a lot more passionate in this final episode? He's putting a lot of mm into it. Don't let me down. What are you talking about? They don't just vote just because it's their favorite character. Verbal Ace shines light on an issue while using satire. His fans oftentimes vote on a popular character they like, not based on the beatbox itself. Crazy. Introduce the pink underdog. In this corner, weighing 210 pounds and a height of... Wait, you guys already know who it is? Um, excuse me, how are you assuming that I know who it is? What if I just popped into the cartoon beatbox arena one day? Patrick Star! No, 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 no. I'm awake. I'm awake. Patrick Star is having flashbacks to the previous cartoon beatbox battle where he was disrupted by Verbal Ace. So he does everything in his power to stop the noise. Even though he has no ears. Do that thing where you shoot webs out of your hands. I love that. That's Spider-Man, Patrick. Patrick Star's stupidity has carried over from the previous episodes. Great to have you back, Patrick. I'm just the guy taking out the trash. <laughs> <laughs> if you the way Spongebob gets treated on this series is abysmal. From the previous episodes, he has nothing to do with the battle, yet he is destroyed by the main characters. So I have a challenge for us today. I'm going to put up a separate counter for how many times Spongebob is abused in this series. Let's take a look and count them up at the end of the video. Go! The addition of subtitles is amazing, and the reference to Patrick in the Super Bowl is comical. My only question is, why is Patrick's eyes bulging out of his socket like a balunga whale? Scary. Deadpool is in a suit. However, in the last frames, we see his mouth showing. Very strange. I met this mercenary. He smells like spoiled dairy. Where is your nose, friend? He's got no game, but to me, he's not that scary. Here we go. We're supposed to believe that Patrick Star somehow has more game than Deadpool because he's pulling those baddies from the bikini bottom. And what is she doing to Pat? Who's gonna win the match the mind is thinking? Round of applause for Patrick Star for spelling it the wrong way. Nice one, man. You're winning. Here comes one of my favorite scenes from this episode. It's so full of life with multiple crossovers and cameos. I gotta give it to Verbal Lace. He is a man of crossovers. He's a man of talent. And he also is a man of culture. I'm surprised he even knows how to work a computer. We've seen how he handled technology in the past. That aside though, it will be interesting to see who wins this battle. This is getting a little too violent for me. Deadpool is utilizing his weapons, which should be against the rules. Verbal Ace, can you step in? No, I'm always sleepy, but that's cause no one feeds me. And Deadpool is no different because feeding him is easy. Patrick Starr says he knows he's always sleepy cause no one feeds him. But I disagree. If no one feeds him, why does he look like that? It looks like everyone in this battle is getting hurt. Patrick, Verbal Ace, Deadpool. Jeez, is anyone safe in these arenas? Heck, I'd hate to be here. I might get hurt. Filthy Michael Lama. Those black and red pajamas. Patrick Starr is able to rock any outfit. I'll give him that. He can rock any fit. It looks really cute and awesome. Nice. Your ugly mama. Wow, that was a low blow going for his ugly mama. Didn't think Patrick had it in him, but this is turning out to be a really good round. Gosh darn it, I love the colors in this episode. And the reference to Thanos is amazing. The references make sense. Also, I really love the design of Patrick. Like I said, he can rock any outfit. Who's gonna bring the master Having Patrick Starr as the president doesn't seem like a bad idea at all. This is one of my favorite scenes from this episode. I just love the raw dancing of the characters. Patrick Starr is losing his cool hair as he knocks over a bunch of dolls. Wow. So tough, man. Tough! I love the backgrounds in these episodes. They got way more crispy and HD. Jeez, who is doing this? Wow, both contestants really want to win this battle. I can tell by them so fixated on these votes constantly that someone wants to win. Another iconic reference. Patrick is doing everything in his power to win this battle, I can tell. 
Pinky. That's me. Pinky. Now onto our SpongeBob counter. He had nothing to do with the battle, yet he's brought up again in a mean way. Yikes. And that's enough cartoon beatbox battles for one day. I'm gonna go wash out my eyes now. See ya. Any comments, Deadpool? To think that was any good, you'd have to live under a rock. Hey, maybe Patrick's stupidity is contagious. Verbal Ace, you better be careful. You're in the middle of all this. Gross. <laughs> Your face is gross. What? Deadpool has a mask on, so how did he know his face was gross without taking the mask off? He was uttering this words before he even lifted the thing. So does he have psychic powers that I should know of? I don't think so. Unless he's talking about the mask. But why grab it then, Patrick? In three, two, one. For a brief second, we actually see the Black Panther appear in this episode. Oh. Goofy wants to know when the babies do. When I tell you I busted out laughing when I heard this, oh man, what a reference. Man, Deadpool is bullying everyone in existence. Look at this. And SpongeBob again. If it weren't for the subtitles, you'd have no idea what this man is saying right now. Let me play this again without subtitles. Thank God for lyrics. Stop Patrick shaming, it's offensive. One day I took a little dive to bikini bottom where I found the sign and said, watch out for the filthy slime. These are my favorite parts of these videos, when they go into the other character's world. I love this. Your best friend will never tell the same, cause I wiped him out and I wiped the blame. How many times has Spongebob been hurt? <laughs> As soon as I said it. Yo, hold up. Is that legal? Gosh, I love the raw dancing in this series. And I love how the camera is slanted. Deadpool gets very desperate and breaks the fourth wall, coming through the screen to switch the votes. Robot SpongeBob. Wow, this counts. And it's very interesting to see this reference from the older seasons of Spongebob. And a shot of the crowd shows us what's to come. What do you think? <sighs> Is that a tranquilizer dart? All right, Verbal Ace, you need to put your foot down and not allow these weapons to be brought onto the stage. I'm such a huge fan. <laughs> oh, really? Thanks. Yeah, do that thing where you shoot wrist waters out of your hands. I love that. That's Mario! Patrick, you belong in Sandy's lab! I'm a freaking starfish, brown rock, underwater rock, and green swim trunk. SpongeBob is my spotter, the amazing world of Deadpool! I thought the best, I compare it to a show called Johnny Test! <laughs>